yesterday. They're really excited about some of the competition we'll see here in the three-meter springboard. There's a um, few divers here that uh, have some experience in this particular meet. Um, kind of open up in the air as who's going to come out on top today. It'll be a fun and exciting event as we get started off here shortly. Yesterday was actually the one meter was really tight, and I think three meter will be even tighter. We had a young lady yesterday that did a reverse two and a half tuck on the one meter springboard. It's the first time that I've seen that uh, in a few years on the one meter from the women's side. Uh, it could be a lead into things to come. I know in the on the world scale, we've got a lot of Chinese divers out there that are throwing some pretty big dives and. Divers here in the United States are showing that they can keep up and actually move into the right positions. We've got the uh, World Trials coming up here, as I mentioned earlier, and I believe it starts in uh, April, and they'll be selecting our World Championship team from that event that will be hosted at Florida State University. We have a, a number of uh, multi-All-Americans in this field as well, and a lot of returning um, divers from last year's NCAA championships. A few of these divers have been to two NCAA championships. First diver coming up in a few minutes is going to be Michaela Butler from UMass. She finished fourth yesterday on the one meter, and uh, this is her first, first trip to the NCAA championships. We had some really good swimming uh, today, so the diving is going to be great too. We're ready to get started here. Michaela's going to do for opening dive, inward two and one half somersaults tuck. Michaela is the young lady yesterday that did the reverse two and a half on the one meter springboard. Very nice, nice. Nicely executed and we're two and a half. She stood up over the board very well. Got into the water clean. Pretty good distance there. She carries mostly seven and sevens and seven and a halfs on that dive. And Danielle Holby from Eastern Michigan had a great one meter yesterday. She's going to start off with a back two and a half somersault pike. And you got that dive going pretty good in the beginning, came out a little bit early, landed quite short on that dive. Back to an F pike, you've got to be very patient on the diving board as you load into it. Waiting on uh, judges' scores here. Waiting here for the uh, technical difficulties to resolve themselves. You're going to see that back two and a half, both in tuck and pike, throughout this competition. And we got Figgy Figueroa. Um, had a great one meter yesterday. She's starting off with two and one half somersaults, pike. Really like the way Figgy attacks the diving board in that approach and hurdles. Very in control, gets good height on the dive, comes out real early over the top, lines it up, gets into the water pretty close, pretty clean, uh, right about good distance. Next diver, Sam Pickett's from University of Arizona. And again, Waiting for the scores. Like we here. have a score delay here. You can see him down working with the uh, judging panel to try to get the score pad resolved. She's going to have a high of eight, carry seven and a half. Sam Pickens, um, our winner from yesterday's one meter, starting off with a inward two and one half somersaults pike. You'll see that dive and tuck as well today.
Another great start for Sam. Yep, Sam got up over the top of that. Had her head down just a little bit. Slightly lines up short on the entry. Wasn't too long ago that this dive was mostly done in the tuck position. Even by the guys. Even by the guys. And again, we're waiting on the judge's score. She's going to carry six and a half on her sixes and six and a half on that for 55.5 points. Jen Chang from Notre Dame starting off with an inward two and one half somersault pike. And Jen finished 12th in this event last year at NCAAs. She gets turned a little bit to the right as she took off, kind of ducked her head. That probably was going to hurt her a little bit with the judges, but overall that was a pretty good dive. If you can keep it square to the board, she'll end up with better results. She's going to carry six and a half. She does get a high score of eight. Most of, most of the scores are six and a half there. Representing the Hurricanes from Miami, Kerry Draglin's going to do inward two and a half tuck. You saw Pike in the dive previously. Kerry is very patient on that board load. Let the dive go up over the top, developing up high. Somersault on the way up. Line it up very nicely. She's going to carry six and a half. She's got to clean up those entries just a little bit if she wants to see some higher scores. Kaylee Roll from uh, Cal Berkeley. She's going to start off with back one and one half somersaults, one and a half twist. Plays 15th in this event in Pac-10, Pac-12s this year. Very nice entry. Leaned back just a little bit, so it was out a little farther than what she might have liked. Got it up over the top, squared out very nicely, and put it in the water clean. She's going to carry seven and a, sevens on that dive, 52.8 points. Haley's, Haley's uh, coming up from USC. She, she's the lone Olympian from 2008 on platform. She's going to start off with the same dive back, one and one half somersaults, one and one half twists. You see Haley takes off on that dive, carries it a lot steeper on her takeoff. Nice control on the twist, squared it out, put it straight up and down. This angle of that dive looked a little bit tighter than the other one, and it's going to show scores of seven across the board with two seven halves that drop at 50.4. Next diver from Virginia Tech, Kaylee Arnett. She's going to be doing uh, back one and a half, two and a half twists. Well, she just added an extra twist to that dive compared to what Haley had just done. It's a little bit harder to keep the body in control when she's twisting. She did a nice job with that, squared it out. She's going to go with the. Uh, Sixes, six and a half, and sevens, going to come 54.6 points on the dive. And from Arizona State, we got a Haley Casper doing inward two and one and a half somersaults tuck. Haley finished seventh in this event at Pac 12s this year. Very nice start on that dive. Nice, beautiful tuck. Pikes out of it, lines it up, gets in the water very clean. Going to note that we are watching this from an angle. She's going to go high of nine, mostly eights, a couple eight and a half, 66.15. Very well start, a good start on that dive. We got from the University of Georgia, Ann Perry Blank, doing four two and a half somersaults pike. You can see some of the girls doing front three and a halfs in the tuck position. She stood this one up very well. A little bit out, a little bit low. She's going to carry seven and a half on the dive. We've got Becca St. Germain from Texas A&M, the Aggies, doing back two and a half somersaults tuck. Finished fourth in this event a few weeks back at SECs. Showed a lot of control on that dive as she carried it up over the board, somersault on the way up. Came out, looked back a little bit hard. So she had a little wash over at the end, but that's very nicely executed. Back two and a half. She's going to get 51.8 points on that dive. We got uh, Morgan Weller from Arizona State. She won one meter at, at uh, Pac 12s a few weeks ago. She's doing an inward two and a half somersault tuck for her first dive. Really like the way she stood that dive up. Beautiful tuck in the air, spun in control. Pikes out of that and lines it up very nicely. She's going to carry seven and a half. She has a low of seven, 60.75 points. 
Next dive from IU, Indiana University in Bloomington, right here in Indiana. And we're two and a half somersaults tuck for our first dive. Amy falls back just a little bit on that as she's starting out, so she has a little bit of work to do to keep it uh, under control. She gets it in the water nice, just slightly over from this angle. Didn't stand up quite as high as the previous one we saw. She's going to get 47.25 points on the dot. From Ohio State, we have Cheyenne Kusnu doing um, back two and one half twist. Her. She's adding one and a half somersault, so it's back one and a half, two and a half twist. Shan showed lots of control there on her takeoff. Saw her duck her head just a little bit at the very top of the dive, made the control of the twist a little bit harder, but she does put that in the water nicely, and she's going to keep seven, seven and a half on the dive for 61.6 points. And we got Texas Longhorn next. Shelby Conan doing front two and a half somersaults, Pike. Shelby kind of cuts the takeoff off a little bit, so she didn't get as much height as some of the other girls might have or how she would have liked. Keep her head up, let it travel up a little bit higher, a little more control on the entry. She's going to get 51.6 points on that. She's going to keep mostly seven and a halfs. Here's a returning, uh, actually two-time NCAA qualifier, Tori Lamp doing front two and a half somersaults pike. Tori's from University of Tennessee. Tori has some of the best entries in this contest. She's doing a very good job of keeping that dive under control. Could go a little higher if she get her head up on the takeoff, but she's kind of known for that. She keeps her head down almost as long as I've known her. She's going to have a high of eight, seven and a half the rest of the way, 54 points on that dive. Laura Ryan, she's a transfer from Indiana University, diving at Georgia right now. She's doing back one and a half, two and a half twists. Lauren just makes that dive look very easy. She rides the board up, twists nice and tight, nice straight body line, puts it straight up and down into the water. And Danielle Seco from UConn. She's doing back two and a half somersaults tuck. She actually placed in this event last year 14th. And that back two and a half got away from her. Got to spend a little bit with her head back as she came out. You see her wash way over on the dive. It's not how she wants to start out this meet. She's going to average four, four and a half on that dive, 35 points. We got a Purdue Boilermaker next. Diver number 20, Michelle Cabasol, doing front two and a half somersaults pike. You see Michelle ride that almost two somersaults on the way up. She checks out over the top, lines it up. It becomes a front lineup as she's going into the water. Nice and controlled. She's going to go eights across the board, 57.6 points. Got Amy Harrison from University of Hawaii. First dive was it's going to be inward two and a half somersaults tuck. Amy's one of our Canadians diving in this event. Amy shows a lot of strength and power on that dive as she jumps it up and almost has the dive completed above board level. She came out of that, went a little bit long on the end. She's going to keep highs of 6.5, low of 5.5, 47.25 on the dive. And the next diver is Kara McCormick, who dove at NCAAs last year and finished 13th in this event, starting off with front 2.5 somersaults. Pike. 
Again, we had a really nice, powerful hurdle and approach. She waited on the board to get her up in the air, and you see her spinning on the way up, which is what we want to see from these divers. Judge four, please. We're waiting now on uh, Judge Four. Sometimes they just don't push enter on that uh, machine there. She's going to have a high of eight, low of six, seven and a half, and sevens, which will keep for 52.8 points. And Maggie Kiefer from the Big Ten, University of Minnesota, starting off with the front two end somersaults. Pike. She had a really good competition yesterday on the one meter. Really strong girl. You see she's finished with that dive a good three feet above the board as she checks out and starts to line up for the water. Very powerful jumper here. She's going to get... Uh, She's going to keep eight, 57.6 points. Rachel Mama from North Carolina State, starting with a back one and a half somersaults, two and one half twists. This is her first visit to NCAAs. I like the way she waits on the diving board and lets that somersault develop before she starts to wrap the twist up. Gives her some control. She squares out. Looks for the water and gets it lined up. She's got uh, ranges from five and a half to sevens. Yeah, Sarah McCready next, a teammate of Maggie Kiefer from University of Minnesota, starting off with front two and a half somersaults. Pike, she's a returning uh, NCAA diver last year. She finished 37th in this event. She finished that front two and a half a little bit lower than what we've seen from some of the other divers. It was still a very nicely executed dive. Got into the water really clean. She's going to carry eights on that dive, 57.6 points. Kelly Stockton, uh, first dive, back one and a half, two and a half, or one, one and a half twists from Virginia Tech. She dove in this meet last year as well. She does a pretty good job on that dive. She's a little heavy on her entry. Some of the divers are lining it up and getting in cleaner. She's going to come away with uh, five and a halfs on that dive for 39.6 points. And we got Cassie Wheel from LSU Tigers. Go Tigers. Doing uh, front two and a half somersault pike. Again, we have another front two and a half that gets lined up, goes in the water pretty clean. This one, again, is not quite as high as some of the other ones we've seen, but it's going to do her well. She's going to carry seven and a half for 54 points. Cal Berkeley, Emma Ivory Gagne doing forward two and a somersaults pike. This is her first visit to NCAAs, Kevin. Well, she's coming on their first dive pretty strong. You notice she goes a little bit higher than the previous one. Somersaults very well and in control. Lines it up. She's going to carry seven and a half for 54 points on that dive as well. Another Virginia Tech diver, Logan Klein. She was here last year, finished 16th. And she's starting off uh, with a forward two inch somersault pike. You see, she gets done with that front two and a half very high. She checks out of it, almost straightens out as she's lining up into the water right at board level. She's going to have highs of seven, seven and a half, low of six and a half, carry sevens for 50.40. Another Longhorn, Marin Taylor, doing four two and a half somersaults pike. She actually, in her Big 12 conference a few weeks back, she finished second in this event. She's a newcomer to the NCAA championships. I think she could stretch a little bit higher into her hurdle. would we'll give her a little bit more balance on the takeoff, but she does a great job getting that dive moving. Beautiful pike. She's going to keep sevens on that dive for 50.4 points. Hannah Prigg from the Mountain West uh, doing forward uh, two and a half somersaults pike. This is her first NCAA competition. She got a little bit crooked there in the hurdle. Saw her kind of looking to the right side of the board as she took off, but she got it up in the air, got it in the water clean. Let's see what the judges saw from their angle. Now we're waiting on Judge One to get their score entered. So we got Krista Cabot from University of Kentucky. First time at NCAAs. She's doing back one and a half, two and one half twists.
Beautiful leg line, beautifully, t beautiful toes pointed to dive, s twisted very well over the top, squares out, looks for the water, gets in very clean. She's going to go seven and a half high, six low, but she's going to keep six and a half and sevens for 57.4 points. We got Michael Tim she finished fourth in her conference. on three meter six and a half and sevens for 57.4 points we got Michael Tim she finished fourth in her conference on three meter she's starting off with front two and a half somersaults pike that was an exceptional pike position you couldn't have slid a piece of paper between her legs and her chest it's what we like to see like the way she's in control she's got a high of eight mostly seven she's gonna keep two sevens and seven and a half for 51.6 points we got Casey Matthews uh, she wasn't here last year uh, first time, a four two and a half somersaults Pike. She's a boilermaker. There's another one of those almost splashless entries that they're looking for. It was a very beautiful Pike as well. This dive should score very well. Again, we're waiting on the judges to get their scores through. She's got she's going to carry three or one nine two eight and a half. She's got three nines from the judging panel. That was very well executed. Good start by Casey. Lindsay Lester from University of Miami starting with four two and a half somersaults Pike. Lindsay is from San Jose, California. From the ACC, she's a junior. So waiting here for the uh, table to be ready. One of the things that you're watching, you see the scores, sometimes they range quite a bit from the one judge to another. Each of these judges are going to see that dive from a slightly different angle. And the judging panel sees it from a complete different angle than what we do up here in the broadcast booth. These judges are judging what they see, not what somebody else might see. Very strong takeoff on this front two and a half. Had her head down just a little bit as she came out. Entry was a little bit heavier than our previous one. She's going to have mostly sevens on this dive, keep 50.4 points total, averaging sevens from the judges. The next diver is very familiar with the natatorium, Kate Hillman from Middletown, Indiana. Went to Shenandoah High School. She started with back one half, two and one half twists. Actually, my partner here, Kevin, coached her. And she dove at a high school that didn't have a swimming pool. And how many uh, people were on her team? There were two, one swimmer and one diver. Kate did a very good job executing this. This is a uh, fairly new dive for her this year. Back two and a half twister. She's competed back one and a half, one and a half for a long time. She's going to go 42.0 on that dive. From NC State, Hannah Hopkins uh, actually finished 27th in this event, starting off with back one and a half, two and one half twists. Dive appeared to lean back just a little bit, allowed it to move out further than she wanted. She lines that dive up a little bit short. She's going to come away with uh, 37.8 points there, high of five and a half, low of four. Next diver, Kelly Hendricks, another Eastern Michigan University diver, starting off with front two and a half somersaults, Pike. Again, nice front two and a half, Pike checks out above the board, lines up that entry, gets in fairly clean. She's got a little bit of a foot splash there at the end. She's going she's gonna to keep straight eight. She's got a low of seven and a half, 57.6 points. Final diver of the round from Sheffield, England. Uh, Jody McCurdy from University of Tennessee. Volunteers doing inward two and a half somersaults tuck. 
my college coach was from Sheffield, England. Actually, that's where uh, we took off on from Normandy to Normandy in the war. Very nice control of the dive. She did sit back just a little bit, so it uh, makes it a little more difficult to make a inward two and a half when you're falling backwards. She's going to keep 52.65 points on that, averaging six and a half. And our first diver is second round, Michaela Butler, UMass. Starting off, her second dive was is front two and a half somersaults, Pike. Got a little delay here going on. We do have a break in the action here. Sometimes this lets those divers calm their nerves a little bit. Sometimes it gets them a little more nervous. We'll see how uh, Michaela does with this one. Michaela actually finished uh, first in this event on three meters. She was a champion at her conference meet on one meter and three meter and second on platform. Sorry about that, Michaela. Atlantic 10. Kayla's just such a powerful jumper. She gets up into the air as high, if not higher, than anybody else in this contest. Beautiful takeoff, somersault on the way up. She's a little bit short on the entry, so she's going to end up with 45.6 points on the dive. Danielle Holby from Eastern Michigan. Second dive is going to be front three and a half somersault tuck. Danielle got way out of balance and out of timing on her approach. <laughs> Ended up, you know, she didn't even do an arm swing. She did a good job trying to make that dive happen. Uh, we're waiting to... Uh, did you notice when she was leaving for she dropped her arms real quick to try to bring her back, Kevin? Yes, she did that. It's a very good attempt on her part. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But if she hadn't tried to make that attempt, there would have been no chance that she could have got that thing spinning. Yeah, I thought she did the best job she could with that takeoff. Waiting on Judge 3's score here. Seven. Judges' scores are going to go from 0 to 1.5. Some of these judges didn't think she completed the 3.5 somersaults. Figgy's going to do a pretty tough dive here. Four 2.5 somersaults, one twist. Degree of difficulty is 3.0 on this. It's one of the twisting dives that you see most often at the Olympic Games. And from the guys. <laughs> That was awesome. She did a very good job on that. <laughs> Got to initiate the front two-and-a-half throw before you end up coming out of it to do a twist. They call that a full out for those of you that are watching and unfamiliar with diving. There's also a full in. There's a full in where you start the twist before you start the somersaults, and depending on how your twisting mechanics are, there's 54. no right or wrong way to do that dive. She's got a lowest five-and-a-half, highest six-and-a-half. She kept sixes on the dive. Sam Pickens uh, from Arizona, she was a 2012 Olympic trial qualifier, finished 12th. Second dive, front two and a half somersaults, Pike. That was impressive. Yeah, Kevin. she had plenty of somersault there. You see her almost come out to open Pike after about one and three quarter somersault, lines it up. She's going to get uh, three nines, two eight and a half, two eight, 62.4 points. I believe that may be the highest scoring front two and a half we've seen so far. Jen Chang from Notre Dame. She's gonna do she's gonna add a somersault front three and a half somersaults tuck. Now you see that one got a lot higher than the previous one that we saw. She was way up in the air, a little bit out and turned to the right a little bit. She's gonna carry sixes across the board there from the judges. A couple six and a half, low of five and a half, fifty point four points. Carrie Draglin's gonna do the same dive, front three and a half somersaults tuck. Finished 12th in this event in 2009 and 6th in this event in 2011. Third at ACC's this year. A little bit low on the come out, but she stuck the entry, got her body nice and tight. You can see that beautiful tight tuck as she's spinning up. She's going to carry 53.2 points on the dive, high of 6.5, uh, low of 5.5. Kaylee's going to, uh, for second dive, front two and a half, Somersault's Pike, finished 37th in this event last year. Awards. 
Just absolutely drilled the entry on that dive. From our angle, you can see a real big leg split. I doubt they see that so much from the side. She's got a high from 8.5, a low of 7. She's going to get 62.1 on the dive. Haley's second dive is going to be back to an SMR South Tuck. She finished fourth in this event a few weeks back at the Pac 12s on 3 meter. Haley jumps really high, especially considering how short she is. She's getting as high as anybody else in this contest. Beautiful control on that back two and a half. Pressed out, looked back. A little bit short. She's going to get 47.6 on the dive. Kaylee, actually a sophomore from Spring, Texas. That's her hometown. She's going to be doing front two and a half somersaults pike. A little leg buckle there. Yeah, she did load her legs and stayed on them a little bit longer than she might have wanted to. She did a good job taking that dive up into the air and controlling the out. She'll loosen her knees as she came into the board, probably to help her catch it. She's going to get 54 points on the dive with a high of 8, low of 7. Haley Casper, she hails from Canada, another Canadian, doing front two and a half somersaults pike. That dive oh, was just that was, incredible. That, that was jumped incredible. straight up in the air. Beautiful pike, beautiful toe line, and then just very. That might have the been entry. the best one we've seen so far today. She ends up with 61.2. The judges didn't like it quite as well as we did. We got a high of nine and the rest eight and a halfs. And Perry Blank doing four two and a half somersaults, one twist pike. We saw Figgy do it earlier. She came out of that double and initiated her twist a little bit later than. Uh, she might have wanted to to be able to control the somersault and the twist a little better, but she gets it in the water for 45 points. And Becca, another Aggie, front three and a half somersaults, Tuck. Dive got moving pretty good. She had a nice tight tuck on her first somersault, split her legs, had little flat feet, and then she ended up washing over as she came out, got it moving a little bit faster maybe than she had wanted to. She's going to walk away with low three and a half, high of five, four and a half for 32.2 points. And Morgan Weller, another Canadian here from Vancouver, doing back two and a half somersaults tuck, finished sixth at Pac-12 a few weeks ago in this event. She did a great job on the press into the board, let that dive rise way up over the board, somersault on the way up. Came out a little bit loose in the back, had slight overage in her feet as she went in the water. Overall, that was a fairly well executed dive. She's going to keep uh, sevens. And Amy Kozad, very familiar with this natatorium, been training here since she was a youngin', doing back two and a half somersaults pike. Went to Decatur High School here in Indianapolis. Yeah, Amy's uh, seen this three-meter board quite often. She does a really good job with that back two-and-a-half pike. That's a tough dive. Got it leaning back just a little bit as she took off, so it was out a little bit further than maybe she wanted. Caused it to be a little whippy, and it's hard to control that entry. She did a good job with that. She's got 54 points on the dive. And Cheyenne from Ohio State, sophomore from um, Michigan, doing back two and a half somersaults pike. First time at NCAAs, finished third in this event at Big Tens. You see Cheyenne stood that dive up a lot better than what uh, Amy did. She was in a lot more control as she pressed out of that and looked back for the water, got her hands on the water very nicely. She's going to uh, come away with 49.5 points. And Shelly finished 36th at this event last year on three meter. Uh, she's going to be doing back two and one half somersaults tuck. A little, little easier to spin faster tuck than pike, Kevin. It is. You'll see some of them tuck, some of them pike, and it's a strategy game from the diver and the coaches to decide which one's going to score the most points in these competitions. There's also the idea that they're leading into the Olympics in 2016. 
Beautiful tuck in, in that somersault. It somersault up pretty well. She came out. She lost her back, got a little bit loose. Got it in the water fairly well. She's going to come away with the high of six and a half, low of five. 49 points on the dive. Tori Lamp uh, from Tennessee. She, she's going to um, do back to and half somersaults tuck. Finished 18th in this event last year. Third at SECs this year. She's known for her rip entries. Yeah, she's getting them into the water very well. She's a little bit uh, loose there on that tuck, but it didn't seem to hurt her as she came out of the dive and just put it straight down. She's going to get uh, sevens and seven and a halfs for 60.2 points. Laura Ryan, Georgia Bulldogs, back two and a half somersault. You'll see this in pike instead of tuck. Horn's very strong off the board. She reached back a little bit further than maybe she needed to. She got up a little steeper, might have controlled the out a little better. She went over a little with her feet and her ankles. She's going to get uh, 60 points even on that dive. High of seven, low of six. And Danielle Secco from University of Connecticut. She's going to be doing reverse two and a half somersaults tuck. Finished 14th in this event last year at NCAAs. I'd like to see her stay a little bit tighter in her core as she loads the board down. She does a good job getting it up in the air. Kind of pushes with her hips more than I'd like to see, which makes that dive travel a little more. Makes it a lot harder to control as you come out and try to line it up in the bottom. 57.4. She's going to get 57.4 points on the dive, low of six, high of seven. And Michelle Cavasaw from Purdue. Doing inward two and a half somersaults tuck. Finished fifth at Big Tens on this event. Michelle has a beautiful pike out on the bottom of that dive. Enough power and strength to make the somersault happen up high. Gives her the control to come out. She's going to go six and a half to seven and a half. 56.7 points on the dive. And Amy Harrison from the Mountain Pacific Conference. Front three and a half tuck. A little bit timid on her come out, but she was very aggressive on the approach. I just really like how she rides the board up as she goes into her hurdle. Left the dive a little bit heavy, so she's going to come away with 46.2 points, averaging mostly five and a half, high of six, low of four and a half. And Kara's going to do uh, four two and a half somersaults, one twist pike. We've seen two previous ones done. Kara's from Austin, Texas, their hometown. Compared to the other two, what do you think, Kev? Oh, I like the fact that it's a little bit higher. She came out and started her twist in a little bit better position. Still looks from this angle to have gone in a little bit short. It's a big dive for these girls at 52.5 points. And we got Maggie Kiefer next doing front three and a half somersaults tuck. Now that was beautiful. That dive rode the board very well. She did two and a half, almost three somersaults on her way up. Gave her time to check out on the way down, line it up. She's going to get... Uh, Mostly seven and a half on the dive, 61.6 .6 points. And Rachel for her second dive uh, is going to be doing back two and a half somersaults tuck. Rachel's from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, hometown. She kicked out very strong but a little bit late, so you see her wash over on the dive. I like the way that she attacks the board and gets the dive to go up and spin on the way up there as well. She's got five and a half average high of four, or five and a half low of four and a half, 46.2. Sarah McCready from Minnesota. Back two and a half somersaults tuck. Sarah's one of two Minnesota divers here. Just nice, tight, beautiful tuck position. She's spinning really fast as she comes out of that dive. She sees it's going to go over, feels it's going to go over, and so she has a great knee save on the bottom. 
She's going to uh, average sevens on the dive, 58.8 points, low of six and a half. We got Kelly Stockton, Virginia Tech, front two and a half somersaults, Pike. And Kelly's got a pretty good entry. She's a little bit further out than some of the other divers that we've seen. I like the way that she goes after the dive and lines it up, gets her hands on the water. I like to see her stay a little bit steeper on her takeoff, travel up in the air on her somersaults rather than out over the rainbow. Waiting on Judge 3 here. And she's going to get uh, six and a halfs across the board on that 46.8 points. And Cassie from LSU, she's going to be for a round two dive. And we're two and a half somersaults tuck. She hails from Hillsboro, Oregon. Actually, that's the only Oregon diver in this event. Finished uh, fifth on three meter at SECs in College Station a few weeks ago. She has a slight turn to the left as she takes off, changes the physics of the dive a little bit. Very well executed, does a somersault again on the way up on an inward two and a half, completes it very high above the water. Judges probably did see that turn to the left, and she's got a low of four and a half, a high of six for 47.25. Emma's round two died back one and a half with one and a half twists. Emma was a high school teammate of Chris Cabot at the Woodlands, known for their diving. She did a really good job waiting on the board, let the dive develop up over the top. She's going to uh, come away with 46.8 points, highs of sevens, low of sixes. We got Logan Klein from Virginia Tech, and we're two and a half somersaults, Tuck. She's a senior from Mission Hills, Kansas. She shows good control on that inward two and a half. From this angle, you can see that they turned slightly, this time to the right as she took off the board. She's going to get 55.35 points, low of six, high of seven. Marin Taylor, Marin Taylor from uh, Texas doing front three and a half somersaults, tuck. That was a great kick out, Kevin. Yeah, huh? she had plenty of time. She rode the board well. <laughs> Got to lean forward a little bit, which speeds up the somersault, but it does give you a little bit more distance. She kicked very hard on that come out, lined it up pretty well. She's going to go low of 6.5, high of 7.5, but she'll carry 7s for 58.8 points. Hannah Prigg, Fresno State, forward 2.5 somersaults, one twist. On this... This full out, she was very low to the water. She tried to start that twist, got her a little out of control, really had to fight to make that twist around. She's going to go low of three and a high of five for 39 points. Chris, our Kentucky Wildcat, doing front three and a half somersaults, Tuck. Talked to her coach before this meet. She was really excited to dive in this meet. First time here. She got that dive moving very well. She stays nice and tight in the tuck. She does have a knee split, but it's going to be hard to tell from the side because it keeps right inside the shoulders. Kicked out hard, but a little bit low. She's going to get 46.2 points on the dive. Nicole Tim from Salt Rapids, Minnesota, hometown, doing front two and a half, one twist. Now that got into the water very nicely. As you notice, she initiates that twist a lot higher, a little bit earlier in the somersault. Gives her time to complete the twist, check out, and pike it down. She's going to get 64.5 points on the dive. High of seven and a half, low of seven. Casey Matthews doing a double twisting one and a half. Had a really great first round dive. She just has a beautiful twisting position. She gets up into the air and snaps out before she initiates the twist. So she's got a nice tight body line as she's twisting. It's almost hard to see that she's doing two twists there. Puts it in the water very clean. She's got 52.5, low of 6.5, high of 7.5. Lindsay Lester doing reverse two and somersaults, tuck.
Very nice jump, high reverse two and a half tuck, kicked out way early, straightened her body out, looked back, put a great entry on it. Two nines, low of seven and a half, she's gonna get 68.6 points on the dive. One of the highest scoring dives in the competition so far, we got Kate Hillman. She's gonna be doing back two and a half somersaults pike. Really like the way that Kate gets down into the board, get, lets it jump up, gets the somersault moving really, really well. Presses out, looks back. This angle looks like it was my slightly short. She's going to keep uh, 45 points high of five and a half, low of four and a half. Hannah Hopkins, NC State. Front two and a half somersaults, Pike. Finished 27th in this event last year. Front two and a half pike has a really nice entry on it. Didn't jump as high as some of the earlier ones we saw in the contest, but she does a good job controlling the complete dive. She's going to get uh, seven and a half across the board, one eight from the judges, 55.2 points. Eastern Michigan, the MAC. We got Kelly Hendricks doing reverse two and a half somersaults tuck. Smoked the entry. That entry was amazing. She did a good job leveling out as she took off, connected on her somersault. Just looked like it was easy for her. She's going to go eight to eight and a half, 70 points on the dive. We got one, Jod of, one of her best reverse two and a halfs ever, I believe. We got Jody McCrody doing front two and a half somersaults pike. It's her last diver in this round. Really like the way she attacks the board on that. Let's the somersault develop on the top of the dive, checks out. Turns it into a lineup as she goes into the water. She's going to go a high eight and a half, low a seven and a half for 56.4 points. Our leader after round two is Kelly Hendricks. Second, Haley Casper, and third is Megan Weller. Got Mika Michaela Butler doing front three and a half somersaults tuck to start us off in round three. Amazing job on that. She's a little bit back on the end of the board as she took off. It didn't seem to affect her as she drove her hips straight up over her head. Got the somersault in control, kicked out nice and tight. Liked the way that got into the water. Did a great job with the takeoff she had. And she's going to have a low of five and a half. It'll drop high of seven and a half, 58.8 .8 points on the dive. We got Danielle Halvey doing reverse two and a half somersaults pike. Pretty tough dive here. She started out very nice on that dive, got the somersault moving. It probably was moving a little faster than she thought it should have been, so she came out a little early. Got her back loose, went in a little short. She's going she's gonna to carry four and a half on the dive for 40.5 points. You got Figgy doing the same dive. Reverse two and a half somersaults, Pike. Figgy had some injuries last year, coming back really strong this year. Finished fifth in one meter yesterday. Biggie got way off to the side of the board. Got her head back on the takeoff. Had to figure out how to save herself a little bit on that dive. Once she got up in the air, she kept it under control. Judges didn't like the fact that she went between the two diving boards, however. She's got 28.5 on the dive. Okay, we got one of the toughest dives in the competition. Forward three and a half somersaults, Pike. Some of the others are doing a tuck. This is a 3.1 degree of difficulty. Wow, that was easy, a, Kevin. She does a really good job with that dive. She makes it almost look like a two and a half from the one meter springboard. She averages about 63, 63 points on the dive. She gets 63.55 on it this time. Six and a half and sevens. And Jen from Notre Dame is going to do four, two and a half, one twist pike. She was a 2012 Big East champ in this event. Held here right at the Natatorium a few weeks ago. She's way forward over her toes as she takes off on the dive. Makes it a little bit harder to get the thing moving and control to come out. Twist was very low, and she went a little bit short. She's going to go four and a half and fives for 43.5 points. Carrie Draglin 
couple years ago in 2011, finished sixth in this event. She's going to do forward two and a half somersaults, one twist, pike. Now, see, she was in much better control on the somersault when she came out. She kind of got herself lost, I think, there looking for the water. Moved her shoulders a little bit, but she saved, did a good job saving it. She's going to get 54 points on the dive, two six and a halfs, the rest sixes. Kaylee is going to do a forward two and a half somersaults, Pike. Kaylee's from Cal Berkeley. Correct a problem they saw down on the table. Doesn't have uh, any play on the dive that we just saw. She was a little bit forward on that dive. Great entry as she went into the water. As I mentioned earlier, these a lot of these girls are throwing dives that they're preparing for the uh, 2016 Olympics. Some, if you're watching the dive, sometimes you wonder why they do it in pike versus tuck, trying to get their degree of difficulty up high enough that they can compete on the world level. Should have a pretty good indication of where we're going to be after the world trials coming up in the world championships this year. We'll know what we need to do to get ready for that 2016 Olympic year. Thought we had a pretty good 2012, a lot better than years Olympics prior to that. Had some medals. The kids did a great job. David Bodaya brought back the first gold medal since uh, Mark Lindsay on the men's side. He trained here at the natatorium for years. Came out of Noblesville, Indiana. Now died or did his college career at Purdue. Still trying to get the scores up for Kaylee. Looking at the natatorium wall where all the Olympic team painted on the wall, and I see uh, five different Olympic trials held here. Okay, we got Haley doing a reverse two and a half somersaults tuck. Haley's sister actually won one meter last year at NCAAs. Haley just absolutely drilled that entry. Beautiful reverse two and a half tuck. She's used to doing these dives from up off the 10 meter tower. Actually, she had somersaults to them, but she's got 64.4 points on that. Kaylee Arnett's going to be doing a reverse, a one and a half, two and a half twist for a third round dive. She does a good job with that. She's a little bit forward on the board. Reverse twisters, you really want to stand those up, get them moving over the top. It's a scary dive as you're learning it, but uh, can pay off for you as you get it perfected. She's got 59.45 points on the dive, high of eight, low of six and a half. And we got Haley Casper doing front three and a half somersaults tuck. <laughs> Haley does a really good job getting in the somersault started. Got a little bit uh, loose there on the bottom. Didn't tighten it up as she went in the water quite as well as she could have. She's going to end up keeping four and a half and fives on the dive for 40.6 points. And we got Ann Perry Blank doing back two and a half somersaults tuck. Beautiful jump start on the board. A little bit heels back. Took it out a little bit more than maybe she wanted to to be able to control the entry loose back. She's going to keep uh, six and a half on that dive, 53.2 points. And Becca St. Germain, she hails from San Antonio, Texas, doing an inward two and a half somersaults tuck. She majored in kinesiology, Kevin. Very powerful jump over the board. Got that somersault almost done at, two, at three meters. 
as she came out. She let it go just a little bit long, though. She's going to keep uh, five and a half and a six, 45.9 points. Morgan Weller doing reverse two and a half somersaults tuck. Oh, that's too bad. That was really high. Just kicked a little late. Beautiful jump. Dive looked like it was going to be very easy to put in the water, and then she just let it go along. And she's going to keep fours on the dive for 33.6 points. Amy Kozad doing the same dive, reverse two and a half somersaults tuck. Amy also lets that dive carry a little bit long. Doesn't jump quite as high, but she's more controlled as she kicks out of the dive, stays nice and tight. She's going to get judges awards as high as seven, low of six for 51.8 points. Staying tight on that dive makes a big difference. And Cheyenne's going to be doing inward two and a half somersaults tuck. Cheyenne puts a lot of power into that load and the press, gets the dive up over the top, checks out of it, gets it in the water very clean. She's going to get a high of eight, low of seven. She's going to keep uh, seven and a half for 60.7 points. Uh, Shelby Cullinan from Paradise Valley, Arizona, hometown. Be doing reverse two and a half somersaults tuck. She went to Chaparral High School. She doesn't get as aggressive in her approach and take off, so the dive's a little bit lower than some of the other ones. Needs to wait on it a little bit longer to get it to go vertical. She leaves it quite short. She's got two fives, rest four and a half for 37.8 points. And Tori Lamp, red shirt, red shirt junior, hailing from Knoxville, Tennessee, doing reverse two and a half somersaults tuck. Went to Bearden High School and dives for Dave Parrington, great coach from Tennessee. Yeah, Victoria leaves that dive quite short, loose back, but she still somehow manages to bring the splash down into the water with her. It's not going to hurt her. She's going to get six and a half and sixes on the dive for 54.6 points. We've got Laura Ryan from the Georgia Bulldogs doing reverse two and a half somersaults pike. From Elk River, Minnesota. A little bit loose in her core as she's getting into that hurdle and loading the board down, so she has to use a little bit of hip action to get the dive moving. Leaves a little bit short. She's going to go four and a half to sixes for 49 and a half points. And Daniel Seco doing front three and a half somersaults tuck. like how she attacks that end of the diving board as she's doing her hurdle, lets the dive move up into the air, uses every bit of that diving board, gets in the water pretty good. She's going to keep sevens on the dive for 58.8 points. And Michelle Cavasaw from Purdue doing front three and a half somersaults tuck. She wasn't spinning quite as fast as some of the other ones that we've seen, but she stayed with it. Beautiful tuck, nice and tight, gets it up and down. She's going to keep uh, six and a half and seven. 53.2 points on the dive. Kara McCormick, back two and a half somersaults tuck for a third round dive. Jumps that up off the board, gets it moving really, really fast. I'd like to see her feet pointed a little bit more in that tuck. 
As she comes out, she probably thought she was a little bit faster than she was, came out early. She's going to get 47.6 points on the dive. And we got Kara McCormick doing back two and a half somersaults tuck. Gets that lined up pretty well on the entry. Like to see her leave the board a little bit steeper and connect up over the top of the dive instead of on the way back. But she does carry sevens on that dive for 58.8 points. Got Maggie Kiever doing back two and a half somersaults to tuck. She's moving that back two and a half a little bit slower. Leaves her finishing a little lower than she might like, but she gets out of the dive very nice and tight. Gets her arms over her head. She's going to uh, go low a five and a half, high a seven, 50.4 points. Our next diver, Rachel Mama, she's actually a multi-sport athlete. She played uh, field hockey in high school at uh, Cedar Cliff. She's doing reverse two and a half somersaults tuck. Quite a different sport than field hockey, Kevin. Did a really good job on that. She could have extended her arms as she took off a little bit better. Uh, kind of cut those off, but she got the dive moving well. Put it up and down. She's going to get 53.2 points on the dive. I can't imagine playing field hockey. Tough sport. Sarah McCready is going to be doing reverse two and a somersault tuck. Really like how patient she was on her takeoff. Got into a nice tight tuck, spun really quick. Good kick out, a little bit loose. Left a little heavy on the entry. We're going to get 49 points out of that dive. We got Kelly Stockton doing reverse two and a half somersaults tuck. See a lot of the girls doing the same dives here. This one went a little bit long. It's going to affect the uh, outcome from the judges. She's got 42 points. And Cassie from Jesuit High School in Hillsboro, Oregon. Finished eighth and tenth in the three meter and platform of the 2011 AT&T National Diving Championships. Also an Olympic trial qualifier in three meter and platform. She did a great job waiting on the diving board to get up underneath her. Somersault with ease on the way up. Liked her kick out, looked back, and just put the entry in very clean. She's got three eights, rest seven and a half, 64.4 points on the dive. I think she's going to like that. And we got Emma doing back two and a half somersaults tuck, Cal Berkeley. Shows a lot of control on that. Kicked out right where she needed to be. Looked back. Just nice, clean entry. 65.8 points. High of eight, low of seven and a half. She's going to keep two eights and a seven and a half on the dive. And we got Logan Klein. She's an All American on one meter. Competed at the 2012 Olympic Trials. Doing front three and a half tuck. has so much power off the diving board she just makes that dive look really easy as it takes off in the air needs to clean the entry up a little bit she's going to go low five and a half high a seven 56 points Marin Taylor third dive was is a four two and a half somersaults one twist pike She appeared here to get a little out of balance in her hurdle. She's a little bit back on the board, but she did a really good job recovering, got the somersault moving, came out, started the twist, and lined it up okay. Judge one, please. Waiting on Judge 1 to give us a score. 
She's going to end up 55.5 points on the dive, low of five, high of six and a half. We got Hannah Prig from Fresno State doing inward two and a half somersaults, tuck. Showed a lot of patience as she waited on the board to come up underneath her. Got her moving a little bit fast. She probably felt, felt like it was a little close, and she went slightly long. She's going to keep four and a half on the dive, We got Chris, Yeah, Chris Cav from the Woodlands, Texas. Um, she actually uh, made it to the 2012 AT&T National Championships doing back two and a half somersaults pike. She came out of that. A lot early. A little bit loose. Got to put that dive straight up and down if you want to stay in this contest. She's at two and a half to three and a half. McCall Tim from University of New Mexico. Back two and a half somersaults. Tuck. Got that spin a little bit slow, came out way early on the dive, left it very short with loose back. She's going to go from two and a half to three and a half, 21 points on the dive. These women are diving great today. Casey Matthews, back two and a half somersaults, tuck. Casey hails from the state of New York. Beautiful takeoff on that dive. Like the way she kicks out with control, looks back, gets her arms over her head, and puts it in the water. She's going as high as eight, low as six and a half, 63 points on the dive. We got Lindsay Lesser doing a reverse twister, reverse one half, two and one half twist. Lindsay's a junior from San Jose, California. Awards. She did a really good job there pushing down and back into the board to get herself moving up and away. She was quite a bit back on the takeoff. Very good control. She's going to go four and a half to six and a half. 46.4 on the die. We got Indiana's own Kate Hillman. Reverse two and a half somersaults pike. Kate. Dove in a lot of state championships at the same natatorium for Indiana. Okay, got that somersault moving really well as she came out. She arches her back a little bit loose on the come out. Looks like she wasn't real comfortable with the way it left the diving board. She has a low of three, high of four and a half, 36 points on the dive. We got Hannah Hopkins from uh, Greensboro, North Carolina, originally. And we're two and a half somersaults tuck. She's, a, she's an All-American, as many are in this field. Dive didn't travel up quite as high as she might have liked. It makes it a little bit difficult to get the dive out, kick straight up and down, but she's going to come away with 54 points, high of 7.5, low of 5.5. We've got Kelly Hendricks from Eastern Michigan. She's from Schaumburg, Illinois, originally. And we're 2.5 somersaults, tuck. Again, from our angle, you can see a real big leg split in the middle of that. She splits and puts them back together to speed the dive up. I'm not sure the judge are going to see that or really take off for it too much, but she did a really good job putting it straight up and down. She's going to go sevens across the board to the lowest six and a half, 56.7 points. Jody's going to be doing, uh, we've seen it done a couple times here, four, two and a half, one twist pike. 3.0 degree of difficulty. Very well executed, full out. A little bit low as she squares out and comes down. If she waits on the diving board, puts a little more power into it, she'll have a little bit easier time on the entry. She's going to go 5.5 to 6.5, 52.5 points. We got Kelly Hendricks still leading after.
Round three, Sam Pickens second, Casey Matthews third, and Michaela for her fourth round dive. Going to be doing back to half tuck. It's really like how much control she showed on that very fast spinning back two and a half somersaults. Kicked really hard and fast to stop the dive. Look back, put it straight up and down. She's going to go as high as eight, low as seven. She's going to get 64.4 points on the dive. From Pickerington, Ohio, we got Danielle Halvey, Eastern Michigan, doing an inward two and a half somersault tuck. Inward to have Tuck spun very well, got moving pretty quick. She tried to pike out of that a little bit early and just didn't quite control the entry. Went a little bit long on the dive. And again, we appear to be waiting for one of the judges. 43.2. Mostly 5.5 five and a half, 43.2 points. Figgy's going to be, uh, for her round four dives, doing back two and a half somersault pike, another tough dive. She's from Kingwood High School in Houston, Texas. She got her arm swing going a little bit slow, fell back slightly on that dive. Allows it to travel out. Makes it a little bit harder to control the entry. She's going to be five to sixes, 49.5. And Sam Pickens, fourth round dive. Back to an somersaults Pike. She's from Murraysville, Pennsylvania, Franklin Regional High School. Samantha left that back to an F pike just slightly short. Did a great job in getting it up in the air and getting the somersault moving. She can hold on to that just a little bit longer. She's going to really like the results. She got 51 points on the dive. Jen Chang doing uh, back to an F somersaults pike. She just buried that back to a she did. pike. Now you know why she was a Big East champion. She goes six and a half low, seven and a half high, 63 points total. Carrie Draglin, originally from Woodenville, Washington, Bothell High School, doing reverse 200 somersaults pike. Claimed All-American honors in all three diving events at the NCAA Championships last year. Very powerful jump off the board. Rode the board well, got way up high. Came out just slightly early. Could have still kept a little bit tighter course. She'd have put it in more vertical. She's going to come away with 42 points. Dive had the potential of scoring some big points for her. And Kaylee Royal from Cal Berkeley. She's going to be doing reverse two and a half somersaults. Tuck. And she took off the board with her head a little bit back. Had to wait for her legs to come up as she kicked out. She's still looking back and lets it wash a little bit long. She's going to get five and a half to six and a half, 51.8. Haley is going to be doing back one and a half, two and a half twists. Haley shows great control as she leaves the diving board and initiates her twist. Once she starts to square out, she got a little bit cockeyed. Didn't quite line it up square at the very bottom of the dive. A little break in the action of the judges. I see one judge shaking his box and <laughs> not sure if it's a loose connection. 
Getting got high as four and a half, low of three and a half, 36.4 on the dive. Next divers are Aggie, Kaylee Arnett. Quite a resume, two-time ACC champion, one meter. All-American in the platform, doing over two and a half somersaults, Pike. She needs to wait on the diving board to come underneath her a little bit more. Maybe have her first throw up towards the ceiling to get it moving a little bit better. Right. She's going to come away with four or fives. Uh, for 40.5 points, just left that dive short. So she got she got off the board a little bit too early that time. A little time. bit too early. Yeah. If she can throw that up over the top, it would be a little bit higher, let her finish that somersault. Hilly's doing, uh, Hilly Casper, front two and a half, one twist. That may have been the best full out that yep. we've seen any of the women do today. Yep. I really like the way that she jumps up over the board. She stays nice and controlled in her body. She's going to get a high of 8.5, low of 7. She's going to get 67.5 points on the dive. Very well done. And Perry, fourth round dive, reverse, two and one half somersaults, tuck. Let's see her. See her leave the board. She's kind of leading with her hips, and it allows it to float out. Makes it a little bit harder to control as you're coming around and trying to kick. She's going to go low of 5.5, high of 6.5, 51.8. Rebecca St. Germain doing a reverse 2 and a half somersaults tuck for her fourth round dive. Shows a lot of patience and control as she gets up into the air. Beautiful kick out. Like to see her get into the water a little bit cleaner. She went uh, six and a half and sevens, 58.8. And Morgan Weller doing front two and a half somersaults, Pike. Nicely executed dive, a little bit back on the board, left her leaning a little bit forward as she has to make that dive start out a little bit forward. Keep her shoulders back, let the board do the work for her. It makes the dive much easier, and you'll see her finish higher in the air. Amy Kozad, uh, she had a lot of international experience. Uh, she represented the U.S. in the FINA World Cups in London at the Synchro Platform event last year. She had to miss Big Tens for that. Doing front three and a half tuck. Amy's doing a really good job on the springboard. like the way that she stayed with that dive, got it to go in the water clean. She's a... Uh, Going to be fun to watch tomorrow on the platform for sure. Yep. Go lows of six, high of 60, six and a half for 53.2 points. We got our Ohio State Buckeye, Cheyenne, doing a forward three and one half somersaults tuck. She actually was a Big Ten champion in the 10 meter event. Wow, she got way off balance on that uh, approach and hurdle. Actually took off facing us. Not exactly sure how she made three and a half somersaults. Not a good place to be on that board on takeoff, right? No, when you take off on the right board and you land in front of the left board, that's never that's a good thing. Not a good thing. She uh, did a great job figuring out yeah. how to finish, do a front three and a half. Very She's impressive. Uh, 12.6 points on the dive, mostly one and a half. And we got Shelby, uh, Texas Longhorn, and we're two and a half somersaults tuck. Chaparral High School. Awards. She may keep her head and chest up a little bit more as she's loading the board and riding it up over the top. She got a little bit back. I see her coach kind of telling her the same thing down there. She's got five and a half and sixes, 45.9 points. At Tory Lamp, and we're two and a half. Some, well, I got. The, Okay, that is. She's doing inward two and a yeah, half salt tuck. That's Tori. I'm used to seeing her in a different kind of suit, orange suit. Award. 
Again, she just has such clean entries. Even that dive that was going way past, she figures out how to get it into the water nice and clean. She's uh, sixes and seven is a high, 52.65. She just got into that two and a half a little bit early. We got Laura Ryan, actually a three-time AAU national champion in the past. And we're two and a half somersaults pike. We saw a lot of splash on that dive, very heavy. She knew that was going past. She did a really good job pike saving it to keep her feet vertical. Dive got moving really well for her. She's uh, low of five and a half, high of six and a half. Still going to take 54 points away from the dive. And Danielle Secco from UConn, coming off a great sophomore season. Big East finalist on both boards last year. She won the, both the one meter and three meter events at the NCAA zone meet. And we're two and a half somersaults tuck. She just shows so much control and patience on the dive. I like the way she just lines up that entry, gets in nice clean. You hear her hands hitting the water to start the rip. She's going to go low of six and a half, high of seven and a half, 59.4 on the dive. Got Michelle Cavasaw doing four two and a half somersaults, one twist. Kevin, do they does anybody do this in instead of out that you've seen lately? Not in competition lately. She got that dive leaning forward, somersault a little bit low as she came out. She's very low to the water, so it's hard to get your hands over your head and line it up. Uh, she's going to go four and a half to five and a half, 46.5 points. And Amy Harrison. Reverse two and a half somersault tuck. She seemed to have missed her spot there because she kicked out with a lot of confidence when she came out, left the dive way short. I suspect she saw something that she thought was something else there. She has two and a half to three and a half, 23.8 points. And we got Kara McCormick, hometown Austin, Texas, Lyndon B. Johnson High School. Reverse two and a half somersault tuck. Shows a lot of control in her takeoff and somersault. Kicked out a little bit late, let her back get a little loose. She does go over just slightly, so she's going to keep fives on the dive, 42 points. We got Maggie Kiefer, Stillwater High School in Stillwater, Minnesota. Doing reverse two and a half somersault tuck. Amazing, amazing jump on that. Beautiful control of a reverse two and a half. Kicked out. Nice flat body line. Looks back. Just slightly over with her legs. She's going to keep seven and a half. 63 points. And we got Rachel Mama doing inward two and a half somersault tuck. Now she left the board with her head down, lets herself push away from the board, and Somersault has to hurry. And as she comes out of the dive, she's also got her head down and just lets it wash past a little bit. She's going to go three and a half to fours, 32.4. Sarah McCready, University of Minnesota, doing reverse one and a half, two and a half twists. She needs to be a little more patient, I think, on that diving board. Let the reverse somersault develop before she tries to wrap her twist up. That'll let her be in a better position to square it down. She's at four and a half to five and a half, 42.05 on the dive. And Kelly Stockton, fourth round dive inward, two and a half somersaults. I'm um, correction, that's back two and a half somersaults, tuck. She's swinging through on her takeoff. She's got her arms really wide. If she get them a little more narrow and let it ride up in the air a little more, she'd have more control as she kicks out. She's a little bit loose in the court, a little bit heavy in the entry, 57.4 points. 
And Cassie Wheel doing reverse two and a half somersaults. Tuck. LSU Tigers. It's a really good job on that, get into the water. She's very loose in her back as she comes out. Allows the entry to explode just a little bit. She goes five and a half to seven, 56 points on the dive. And our UCLA Bruin Emma is going to be doing reverse, same dive, reverse two and a half somersault tuck. We're in diver number 28. She was way forward as she got into the end of the board on that hurdle. Did a really good job of saving the dive, taking it up as high as she could go. Stayed with the tuck probably a little longer than normal. Gets a kick out. Solid just sevens on the dive for 57.4 points. Logan Klein back two and a half somersaults. Pike. See her leaning back just a little bit as she's pressing into the board. She does a really good job connecting. Presses out a little early. Allows her to go a little more vertical. Kevin, explain to the crowd what connecting means. Get your arms up over your head, and when you want to come into your pike or into your tuck, it's what we call a connection into the dive, into the somersault. We've got Mary Taylor. Uh, reverse two and a half somersaults pike. You'll see the connection right here. See as she starts into that somersault, it's almost like she stops her head and shoulders and her legs come up and connect into her chest. Now she did a good job getting it started. She came out a little bit early and loose. She needs to finish the bottom up just as well as she takes off. She's going to have a low of three, high of four and a half, 31.5. Hannah Prigg, Fresno State, front three and a half, tuck. She you know, has her shoulders turned to the right quite a bit in that hurdle. Doesn't use the board quite as well as she could, so it's struggled to make three-and-a-half somersaults. She got two-and-a-half to three-and-a-half for 23.8 points. Looked like her head was down a little bit, Kevin, on that on the takeoff. Yeah, I think she got herself a little out of control in her hurdle. She's trying to make some corrections. And we got Krista Cabot. Front two-and-a-half, one twist. Wow. She does a very good job on that full out. She's... Not quite as high as some of the other women that have done the dive, but she did a really good job of squaring it out and putting it in the water. She's going to go seven and a half and sevens for 64.5. And Michael's doing reverse two and a half somersaults tuck. It's really good jump on that dive. Reaches back maybe a little bit more than she needed to to get the somersault moving as she comes out she's going to reach back behind her head and let it go a little long but she comes away with seven and a half and six and a half 58.8 points Casey Matthews from Purdue a reverse two and a half somersaults tuck Casey's got great lines kind of like Tori Tori Lamp that's that that beautiful toe really point nice she, she's Got a great point of a toe, feet and toes even into the hurdle and the connection. She's got uh, eights and seven and a half. She's going to 61.6 points on the dive. And for the Miami Hurricanes, Lindsay Lester doing back one and a half, two and a half twist free. She got the dive up very high, started the twist out really well. As she came around the very end, she let her legs come apart, and that's going to cost her a little bit. She's got fives to sixes, 43.4 points. Kate Hillman doing a big dive here. Front three and a half somersaults pike. Most of them are doing front three and a half tuck. She's a really strong jumper. Gets the dives moving well. She'll be back tomorrow as well on the 10-meter platform.
Now she starts that front three and a half a lot earlier than what she needs to. If she can sit back and wait on the diving board to come up underneath her, she can somersault on the way up instead of the way down, which allows her to get out of it. She's going to keep mostly two and a half for 23.25 points. She's going to be exciting to watch tomorrow on 10 meter. Hannah Hopkins for a fourth round dive doing reverse two hand somersaults tuck from the Wolf Pack, NC State. Got a little back in that hurl, didn't she, Kevin? Just a little bit, and then she ends up going just a little bit over. Your body's going to find the spot you were last in when you touched the earth. So if you're leaning a little bit back, you're likely to go a little bit over. Got to do a lot of work to make sure you go vertical on that. 46.2. And Kelly Hendricks from EMU. Back one and a half, one and a half twists. Next round, she'll do two and a half twists. Very, very patient on the board work there. She lets the dive go almost straight up into the air. Initiates the twist as she's getting her feet up over her head. Squares it out, puts it in nice and clean. 52.8 points. Okay, Jody's going to be doing reverse one half, two and a half twists. Final diver of round four. We'll see what the leaderboard looks like after this dive. She let her leg split just a little bit as she took off. She got them back together really quick. I like the way she controlled the twist. Yeah, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Casey Matthews from Purdue in first. Kelly Hun Hendricks from EMU second, and Haley Casper third. Going into round five, we got first diver Michaela Butler doing reverse two and one half somersaults tuck. Kayla, she did this on one meter. Oh, that was beautiful wow. dive. Kevin. Absolutely stunning. She was uh, way high on that reverse two and a half, kicked out above the board and just floated it in nice and tight. Beautiful entry. So when's she going to do reverse three and a half? One? I'd say three she's probably meters. working on it. She's got probably. a nine and a half, three nines, a couple of eights, 72.8 .8 points on the dive. Danielle, we doing front two and a half with one twist. She's got a little bit more out of the diving board, let it go up in the air so that she can be coming into the twist on the way up or slightly at the end of the at the board level so she can twist into not into the water like she did there four and a half to six 48 points figgy's doing inward uh, two and one half somersaults tuck for her fifth round she had she has one of the highest dd lists of any competitor in this competition Let that dive go a little bit over, a little bit heavy. She needs to really find her lines on the bottom of these dives. She's going to go five and a half, 44.55. And we got Sam Pickens doing reverse two and one half somersaults tuck. Sam just had an amazing yeah, that's, somersault action. It's a shame. Nice and tight tuck. Kicked out nice and tight, just way past the come out point. She came into the round in fifth place. Going to 29.4 points. We got Jen Chang doing reverse two and a half somersaults pike. Get some nice applause nice from the audience there. Yeah, the audience and the uh, people on deck seem to really like that dive. It was nice and smooth in the air, beautiful toe point, like the connection. Got a highest eight and lowest six and a half, 63 points. Carrie Draglin, University of Miami, doing back two and a half somersaults pike for her fifth round dive. We've got one more round after this. It's kind of moving round, Kevin. If you're going to do it, do it this round. Yeah, when you're only doing six dives, you've got to you got to be on top of your game, and you got to take every opportunity you can to move up. 
Back two and a half pike is not what she's going to want to see. She had a good start, came out a little early, a lot loose, left the dive very short. There you go, three and a half across the board, high of four and a half, 31.5. We got Kaylee doing back two and a half, somersault with a half twist. That's what it says on my sheet. Yes, back two and a half with a half. Okay. We haven't seen this dive yet. She got that dive in the water very clean. It'll be interesting to see what the judges think about the dive. She kind of twists into the tuck as she starts the two and a half. I have seen this dive done at the Junior Nationals. And off the 10 meter tower at Senior, she's got 47.5 points. Haley doing front two and a half somersaults pike. Very well executed front two and a half somersault pike. I like the way she just got that straight down into the water. She needs to, needs to let that board help her. She doesn't have a concrete platform under here, so if she can let it help her get up in the air, get a little bit more height points, she'll be happy with that. She's got 52.8 points on the dive, mostly seven and a halfs. We got Kaylee Arnett, reverse two and a half somersaults pike. She pushed that reverse two and a half out with her hips. She's got to let the board come up under her and connect up over the top. Left that dive very short. Three and a half and four and a half is the high, 33 points. Haley Casper actually from Alberta, Canada. Doing back two and a half somersault pike. Finished seventh in the Savannah Pac-12s in 2011. Yeah. Notice she took a little bit longer to get that dive going. Yep. And she was either a little bit nervous about the dive or she was really concentrating on making sure she did it all right. She goes two sevens, mostly sixes, 55.5 points on the dive. Just slightly short, but very well executed. Ann's actually from uh, Moultrie, Georgia. One of two divers here from Moultrie. In front three and a half tuck. Finishes that front three and a half tuck a little bit low, kind of stuck it in. Like to see it somersault on the way up be done just below the board level possibly so you've got time to line it in. Obviously you want to be done as high as you can be. We've got Becca doing reverse one and a half, two and a half twist. She's a little bit in a hurry to get off the diving board and start that twist. She does a really good job of staying in control like to see that dive go a little higher. She's going to get 55.1 points on the dive. We got Morgan Weller from Vancouver. She's a freshman. Doing front three and a half somersaults tuck. Let the dive travel up really well. I like to see the saw two, two and a half somersaults on the way up. Came out of that a little bit loose. She could have stuck the entry a little bit better. 50.4 points. Amy K Kozad doing four, two and a half somersaults pike. Amy put a nice loud rip on the bottom of that. I'd like to see her jump a little bit higher. Again, she's an amazing platform diver. I see a lot of the platform divers don't ride the board quite as well as most of the springboard divers do. 52.8 on that dive. And we got Cheyenne doing reverse one and a half, two and a half twist free. Award. 
like to see Cheyenne bring her arms through just a little bit sooner. But she does a great job staying in control. Nice tight body lines, squared that out. Gets 60.9 on the dive. Keeps all sevens. Now we've got Shelby doing uh, forward one and a half, two twist free. She just absolutely disappeared into the water on that entry. You see her twist action. She's got her arms kind of tight inside of her chest. It's one of the unorthodox diving twists, but it works very well for her. She had 48.75 on the dive. And we have Tori doing back one and one half somersault, two and a half twists. Tori Very just nice. always seems to put a nice sound on every yeah. one of her entries. A little heavy on the entry. She gets as high as eight, mostly seven and a half, 63 points. She showed very good control on that twister. Laura Ryan, pretty tough dive here. We saw Kay Hillman do it. Front three and a half, Pike. What do you think, Kevin? Well, I think Laura started that uh, somersault out just a little bit quick as well, but she had a lot more patience than we saw from Kate previously. It allows her to get the dive done a little higher. She's going to get 60.45 points on the dive. Danielle doing four, two and a half, one twist pike. Left the dive just a little bit short. I like the way that she got into the somersault. Nice tight body lines when she's wrapping the twist up. She's let that come around a little bit more, let it ride off the board a little bit higher. She's going to move a couple points on the judges. Shell Cavasaw from Purdue University. Back two and a half somersaults, tuck. Shell came into this round in 12th place. Very patient on the diving board. Kicks out, just looks back, lets the dive go straight up and down. 61.6 points on the dive. Amy Harrison doing back one and one half somersaults, two and a half twist. Put that straight up and down very nicely. The more twists you do, the harder it is to keep your body in control and in line, to keep the head up. She's a little bit crunched down in the dive. She's going to come away with 54.6 points. And we got Karen McCormick. Reverse one and a half, two and a half twist free. She got out of control in that hurdle and just fell off the diving board there. Maggie Kiefer, forward one and one half somersaults, two twists free. Really impressed with what Maggie's doing in this, both the one meter and the three meter. Yeah, she's just very much in control of her dives. Yep. She dives with uh, Wimbo up at University of Minnesota. He was the 2008, one of the 2008 Olympic coaches. Coach down here at the Natorium for a while, Kevin. He did. He coached here about four or five years, I believe. Along Rick. with John Wingfield at the National Training Center, and John's now at IU. We got Rachel doing front three and a half tuck. Gives him such a tight little ball. She spins really, really fast. She's a little quick into the somersault. She could let that diving board help her out a little bit more. 
Lauer to kick out tighter, straighter, a little higher over the water. She's going to come away with 35 points on the dive, mostly fours. Sarah McCready doing there with two and a half tuck. Sarah enters this round just out of the consolation final, so she's got a opportunity to move up here. We got top eight diving tonight. And 9 through 16, diving later on this afternoon. That dive set up very well, and she came out and just let it go flying by. She needed to possibly pike out of that a little earlier. She could have lined it up, 32.4 points. You got Kelly Stockton. And we're two and a half somersaults tuck. She checked out of that dive a little bit early and just kind of never did finish bringing her legs up, but it still got in the water pretty clean. She's going to come with 47.25 points. Cassie Wheel doing back one half, two and a half twists. Very nicely done dive. You can see as she's getting that twist moving, they're really tough to keep those feet together. She let her feet cross a little bit in that summer or in the twisting action. She came away with uh, 56 points even on the dive. You got Emma for two and a half, one twist pike. Seen this dive quite a few times today, Kevin. She, she waited on that a little bit more than we've seen from quite a few of the other women doing the dive. A little bit late maybe on the somersault, so it made it a little bit harder to pike that down and get it straight up and down. Seven, Waiting on Judge Seven's score here. She's going to walk away with 43.5 points on the dive. And our Texas A&M Aggie, Logan Klein. Reverse two and a half somersaults tuck. This should be pretty high. We got a little bit impatient on that connection on the somersault, but she put it into the water really nice. She was uh, in 18th place coming into the round. She was 61.6 points, uh, high of eight, low of seven. That could be enough to move her into the Constellation Finals. Really did a good job getting that in the water. Like the way that she waited on the board. Let's see her toes point a little bit more and uh, back tighter when she goes into the water. But she comes away with 57 points on that dive. Hannah Prick, fifth round dive, back two and a half somersaults, tuck. Shows that she's got a lot of control of that dive. I'd like to see her kick a little bit shorter so she can just float it around a little more. Put it in the water a little cleaner with like nice tight arm reach. She's got 56 points there. Here we got Chris Cabot, first NCAA championship, diving really well. Doing reverse two and a half somersaults tuck. Chris comes off the board just slightly sideways, which does a really good job getting into the tuck. I like that tuck that she displays on that reverse two and a half. Kicks nice and hard, stops the dive. Judge Looks a little bit over from this perspective. Judge one is now putting a score up. We've got 50.4 points on the dive, high of six and a half, low of five. Mike Hull's doing it over two and a half somersault tuck. Come away with 52.65 points on the dive. It's finished a little bit low to the water on that one. 
Case has been up there all all event to the top. Front three and a half somersault tuck. Wow, that's not going to hurt her. Yeah, she has 61 and a half points to uh, move back into first place. I believe that's going to do it for her. That was a beautifully executed dive. She has 65.8 points on the dive, high at eight and a half. Well, Lindsay Lester doing back two and a half somersaults tuck. She comes into this round on the bubble for Constellation Finals in 16th place. That's going to help her. Should help her. She did a nice job getting up in the air, waited on the diving board. I like to see her squeeze her arms against her ears as she's going in the water to clean that entry up a little bit better. But she has 68.6 points on the dive. You can't complain about eight and a half. Another tough dive by Kay Hillman. Four, two and a half, one twist pike. She's got a pretty tough list in this three meter, Kevin. She's definitely getting her list set up for a run at the 2016 Olympic trials, I believe. I think I remember when she learned that dive, Kevin. I believe you were there as we were watching. I was, <laughs> a long time ago. She does a really good job getting that dive moving. As you see her come out of the somersault and start the twist up, everything kind of slows down and she doesn't really attack the entry. She comes away with 33 points in the dive, but that's going to be really good for her here in the next few months. Maybe next year at this meet we'll see that in for eights and nines. Yep. Got Hannah Hopkins doing back to half tuck. Really good job. I'd like to see a, like see her squeeze her ears on the entry a little bit more, too. She's got her arms a little bit apart. She does a great job getting in the water clean. You don't want any space tight. between those ears and the arms, right, Kevin? No, you don't. You want to you hit that water tight like a pencil. Kelly Hendricks doing back one and a half, two and a half twists. She comes into this round in second place. Needs 68 points to move into the lead. She's had a sweet, sweet event. It's a very well executed dive. I don't think that's going to be quite enough to move her back up into the lead. Should, should keep her in finals, though, right? Yeah, she should still stay in finals. That's 56 points. What's Jody got to do here? It's our uh, last dive in round five, Kevin. Jody's currently in 11th spot. She needs 90 points to move into first. Back two and a half tuck. That didn't get 90 points, but that was a very amazing back two and a half tuck. I just like the way she disappeared yep. into the dive. She'll be happy with the results on this one, I'm sure. 63 points. Here we go. Last round. If you're going to do it, you're going to do it this round, Kevin. Kayla's last dive. Back one and a half. One and a half twist free from Dennis Yarmouth. Regional High School in Dennisport, Massachusetts. Red Shirt Junior. Now she allowed that dive to kind of float around on her, went a little bit long. She uh, needs 4.3 points to move back into first place, but she's the first one in the round, so she's got a long ways to wait. 32.4 points, fours and four and a half. Danielle Hollies, Eastern Michigan's final dive, back one and a half, two and one half twist free. Red shirt, red shirt junior. Very good. A little bit loose knees on the entry there. I'd like to see her legs straighter. Tighten it up as she goes in the water. I like the way she jumps up into the air, gets that dive moving. 54.6 points. Figgy doing reverse one and a half, two and a half twist free. She's a junior. Kingwood High School, Houston, Texas. I think he may be one of the strongest jumpers in this competition. Rides the board really well. Very well executed reverse twister. It's a little bit long, but it's going to uh, give her 58 points. Sam Pickens, final dive. Four, two and a half, one twist. Pike, she's a sociology major.
University of Arizona. Wow. Kevin, that was the best uh, full out I've seen today. Sam came into this round at uh, 15th place. Excellent. She needed she needed something. She needs something. Let's see what the judges thought about that dive. 57 points. Going to move her up a little bit for now. Let's see if it will hold her in place. Let's see what Jen can do on her final dive. Reverse one and a half, two and a half twists from Fairport High School in Fairport, New York. We'll see her lose her legs in the middle of that twist. She's really got to squeeze those ankles together to keep the legs from splitting there. Judges are going to notice that, and they're going to dock, deduct for it, 47.85. Kerry Draglin, hometown Woodenville, Washington, Bothell High School, started a career at University of Alabama and transferred to the University of Miami. Reverse one and a half, two and a half twist free. And I really like the control and the aggressive, aggressive takeoff she showed there. Just waits on the diving board, makes that dive look almost simple. She's going to come away with 60.9 points, uh, keep sevens. Kaylee Rowe from Cal Berkeley, actually from Dove Canyon, California, went to Santa Margarita Catholic High School. What are you doing back two and a half somersaults? Tuck. She let her heels drop a little bit as she started to take off onto that dive and moved it out. Came out way late. Washes over. It was a little out of control, and that's why she... Yeah, it's it's really hard to get out of a dive that uh, doesn't set up for you in the beginning. Twenty-eight or 23.8 points there. We got Haley, hometown Seal Beach, California, Hostrom High School. She's a red shirt sophomore doing an inward two-and-a-half somersault tuck. She scored straight tens in a back three-and-a-half. Had zones last week. Can't wait till tomorrow. Awards. Haley's doing a really good job on the springboard. Got her head down a little bit as she took off, left it down a little bit on her entry. She's going to come away with 51.3 points, and she will be exciting to watch on the tower tomorrow. So will Kaylee. She was an All-American in the platform. She's a final dive in this event. Back two and a half somersault pike from Spring, Texas. Very nice. Shows a lot of control. Stood that dive up very well. A little bit loose on her back when she came out. If she can keep her core tight, line it up, put a little bit cleaner rip entry on it, she'll like the results. That's 63 points on that dive. Haley, Haley Casper, Alberta, Canada, one of the four Canadians we have in this event. She'll be doing reverse two and one half somersaults tuck. Kaylee comes up off that diving board very well, brings the knees in. Like the way that she has command and control of that kick out. A little bit long on the entry. Waiting again on Judge 1. And we're going to get uh, sevens from all, but Judge 6 is 7.5, 58.8 points. And Perry, one of the two divers from Colquitt County High School in Moultrie, Georgia. Final dive. Inward two and a half somersaults tuck. Haley got that moving a little bit fast, came out a little bit late, so it washed over. If she can pike out of that a little sooner, she'll put it straight up and down. She's going to come away with four and a half primarily. Uh, five and a half is the high, 39.15. Got Becca St. Germain from San Antonio, Texas. She's a senior doing two and a half somersaults to tuck for her final dive. Correction. They got that. Okay, that's back one and a half, two and a half twists. Back starts, starts off looking back just a little bit early. I'd like to see her head more neutral. Allows the dive to go up a little bit steeper, but she does a good job of making that twist come around and square it out. 54.6 points on the dive. We've got Morgan Weller. Um, she's a freshman, but she's a conference champion in one meter at Pac-12. Final dive for two and a half with one twist. 
She started into that somersault with her arms down a little bit low, like get her elbows up over her head as she's loading the board. Left the dive very, very short. 36, even. 36 points even, low of three and a half, high of four and a half. We got Amy Kozad, senior, final NCAA championships, doing back one and a half, two and a half twists. Amy's currently in 16th position. Needs a big one here. She's a big one here. That was a nice dive. Like to see it a little bit more vertical on entry. Like the way she got into the water clean, very, very crisp and clean on her twist action. You get 56 even. points on the dive. Kind of halfway between her best and her average, so she should be pretty happy with the results of the dive. We got a, a, a Big Ten championship on 10 meter here, Cheyenne. Final dive will be reverse two and a half somersaults pike. We got to have some platform competition, huh? Yeah, we will with Cheyenne and uh, Haley, Amy. Cheyenne did a really, really good job here on this reverse two and a half. Beautiful pike position. Still a little bit loose as she's pushing her feet out. I'd like to see that core stay tight as she's going in the water. 54 points. We got a longhorn Shelby Cullinan, three time All American. Final dive. Back one and a half, two and a half twists. Actually, also a member of the Big 12 Commissioner's Honor Roll. Just put that dive straight up and down in the water, almost no splash. I like the way she got into the water on the dive. I'd like to see her arms come up a little bit higher as she's initiating the somersault. She goes low as six and a half, high as seven and a half, 58.8. We got Tori Lamp doing reverse, a one and a half, three and a, two and a half twists. What place was she in uh, going into this round? Do you know, Kevin? Uh, she's in sixth place going into the round. She's 65.3 points to move into the lead. She very well may get that on that dive. That was a very clean. Reverse twister. Went in the water pretty much vertical. 60.9 points. So going to leave her just a little bit shy of the lead. Does put her in second place. We got Lauren Ryan. Four, two and a half, one twist. Pike. She's entered the round in 12th place. Now that was the best full, full out we've seen all day. The entry was a little bit heavy, but the dive was executed well above the water. 58.5 points. That moves her currently up into fourth place. Hailing from Hicksville, New York, Hicksville High School, Danielle. UMass doing a back one and a half, two and a half twists. Does a really good job on the end of that dive to keep her legs from flying by on her. She's going to come away with 50.4 points. Michelle Cabasol from Purdue, Montgomery High School in Bedford, Texas. One of two divers for Adam Saldotti at Purdue. Final dive. Reverse. Michelle. Two and a half somersaults tuck. Michelle enters the round in 11th position. She's 74.15 to take the lead. Very well executed dive. I'm not sure that it's going to get the scores that are going to require to get her up into first place. Comes away with 64.4, three eighths, rest seven and a half. Amy Harrison does move her up into third position. She actually was a multi sport in rugby. Front two and a pike. Dive was well executed up at high above the diving board as she came around for that line up into the water. Like to see a little tighter into the water to clean up the entry, but she's got 48 points on the dive. Karen McCormick from Austin, Texas, final dive.
And we're two and a half somersaults tuck. She did a very good job with that dive. I like the way she kicked out. Beautiful leg line. Lined it straight up and down. That's the way you got to put the dive into the water. Last thing those judges see are the feet going in the water. She's going to keep sevens across at 56.7. And we got Maggie Kiefer from Minnesota. Final dive. And we're two and a half somersaults tuck. She had a sister that dove at uh, University of Wyoming, Emily. She came into this round in fifth place. That dive shouldn't hurt her at all. I like the way that she stands it up over the board, shows good control on her come out, lines it up clean entry. She's going to go eights, going to keep eights across the board, two seven and a half, 64.8. Rachel Mama from NC State. Maggie does move into the first position with that dive. Forward two and a half somersault at one twist. Cedar Cliff High School. Again, a strong performance on a full out. Leaves the dive a little bit short. We've seen that from a lot of the women in the event today. It's a big dive for anybody to do. She's come away with 40.5 points. Sarah McCready from University of Minnesota doing back one and a half, two and a half twists free. What's Sarah need to do here? I'd like to see her stand this dive up, reach up over her head. Did a really good job there. Let her legs split apart a little bit on the end of that dive. Got to control that. Squeeze your legs get a little bit harder, line it up. She comes away with 51.8 points. Another one of Jay LaRue's divers, Kelly Stockton. Texas A&M, final dive, back one and a half, two and a half twists. Kelly's from Fairfax, Virginia. She's a sophomore. Award. She's got her arms up over her head a little bit better on that dive than the previous one we saw. Kept her legs together. Did leave the dive a little bit short, a little bit out, but she's going to come away with a high of seven, low of five and a half, 49 points. We got an LSU Tiger on the board right now. It looks like uh, Cassie's doing reverse one and a half, two and a half twist free. She's in ninth position. So she's got the potential to move up into the top eight here with a well executed dive. What do you think, Kevin? Is that going to do it? Yeah, she needed to come, come away with uh, 60 points to. Give her Close. much hope, and she's got 58 points there. She went from a 4 to a 7. I suspect the judge with the 4 thought she was a little bit tight to the diving board. Emma's final dive in with 2.5 somersaults pike. Emma's from the Woodlands, Texas. Great diving tradition there. Oh, very nice. Stayed with that inward two and a half pike long enough to get her vertical. She was came in in 14th position. She needed uh, a really good dive, and that's the best inward two and a half pike she's done in her career. So can't ask for more than that. And hailing from Mission Hills, Kansas, we got Logan Klein, senior, doing a full out front two and a half one twist. Very, very nice full out like to see those toes point a little bit, but what can we complain about there? That's one of the best front two and a half fulls that, that we've was. seen today. Finished real high off the water, too. Tighten her leg line up a little bit, a little bit tighter entry, but uh, I'll take that dive if I'm her. She's going to go 63 points on the dive. Very close to the best that she's ever had scored on that dive. And we got a junior, Marin Taylor, from Arlington, Virginia, Yorktown High School. Doing inward two and one half somersaults pike. Two time All American. Two time Big Twelve champion. Fifty seven even. 
Mary comes away with 57 even. She's a little bit low on the finish of that dive. We'd like to see her ride the diving board and get it moving up above. From Rockland, California, Whitney High School, Hannah Prigg, final dive. Reverse two and a half somersaults, tuck. Jumps very high on that dive. Got her head back a little bit as she's taken off. Makes it tough to figure out where you are so you can get kicked out at the right place. She's a little bit long on that dive. She's going to come away with 47.6. They got a Kentucky Wildcat on the board. Krista Cabot. Final dive. Inward two and a half somersaults. Tuck. What you got to do here, Kevin, point wise? She's currently in 23rd position, so it's going to take a little bit to move her into the top 16. Started out really well at dive. We'll have to see what she gets from the judges' score. I really like the way that she gets in a nice tight ball. Spins really quick, kicks out nice and hard. 62.1 points. Not going to hurt her. We'll have to see where that puts her in the final standings here in the prelims. Nicole's final dive, uh, back one and a half, two and a half twist free. Krista's dive did move her up into 14th position, so we'll see if that'll hold up for her. So a uh, back one and a half with two and a half twists. Went a little bit short on the end. She's going to come away with 42 points. She's got to be a lot more patient as she sets up the somersault portion of that dive. Casey's final dive. Here were two and a half somersaults. Tuck. Casey's our current leader coming into the round. And I suspect with that dive, she's going to stay in that spot. Yep. Great save at the end, too. Really like the way that she got that dive straight up and down. Almost no splash on the entry. She just shows a lot of You control. know, it, she doesn't have the toughest list, but she probably has the prettiest list of anybody. Yeah, she goes uh, a nine on the high, eight low, keeps eight and a half, 68.85. Yeah, there's a, uh, you don't always have to have the hardest dives as long as you do nope. the dives the best. That's right. Lindsay Lester, final dive. And we're two and a half somersaults tuck. She's in 10th place, has a possibility of moving up into the top eight. She might have just done it with that inward two and a half. Yep. Very well executed. I like the way she stays up over the diving board, kicks out nice and clean entry line. It's going to be really tight. Also comes away with uh, three eights and eight and a half, 63.85 points. Another 3-0 dive by Kate Hillman, Middletown, Indiana, Shenandoah High School. And we're two and a half somersaults, Pike. First time at NCAAs. Getting some great experience here this weekend. Kate's throwing a really big list of dives. Does a really good job on that inward two and a half. Very nice. Pike like to see her come back with a really good dive at the end. She's, yep. she's had some struggles throughout the day today. 61.5 points on the dive. That's the way that to is end by it. far the best inward two and a half pike that she's done so far. Great. Wolfpack, North Carolina State, Hannah Hopkins. Forward one and a half, two twists free. Looking at this dive, we see the uh, 2.5 degree of difficulty versus the uh, three O's of the full outs. And she comes away with 52.5 points, and that's where you make your decision on which dive it is you're going to use. Where's Kelly Hendricks uh, currently sit, Kevin? She's in, uh, comes in a 20, 28th position. Okay. Back to an F tuck. Back great, half, great way to could finish. Actually, move her up. She did a right? really good job with that. I like the way she that, stood she's that. Getting dive lots, up. lots of applause from the she audience here. Straight eights across the board, 67.2 points. That was an exciting dive to watch. And where's Jody at here? We, she's the final diver of the, the uh, competition. Reverse two and a half tuck. Jody was in eighth place and. And that dive's getting wow. up there as well. Now Great Kelly, way to end this uh, Kelly, event our, here. Our previous diver, Kelly, the uh, screens had not updated. She was not uh, as far back as we thought. She was in third place going into the round. And uh, Jody just post 
two nines on that uh, reverse two and a half somersault tuck for 70 points. What a way to finish out the preliminary round. What a great event, Kevin. We we were honored to watch it. Yeah, these women we got, a, we got, got a, a good show on for us. I'm really excited here. We've got the Constellation Finals coming up shortly. We got the uh, top eight up on the board right now. We got Casey Matthews from Purdue. Kelly Hendricks from EMU. Maggie Kiefer from Minnesota. Haley Casper. Jody McCrory. Tori Lamp. Lindsay Lester. Michelle Cavasaw. We got two Boilermakers up in the top eight. That's going to help Purdue out their swimming. And ninth place, this is a consoles now. They'll be diving shortly from LSU. Cassie Wheel, UMass, Michaela Butler in 10th, Logan Klein from Virginia Tech in 11th, Laura Ryan, Georgia Bulldogs in 12th, Emma Ivory Ganya from UCLA in 13th, and 14th, we got the Notre Dame diver Jenny Chang, and we got Arizona uh, diver Sam Pickens, our one meter champion from yesterday in 15th, our final uh, uh, console qualifier right here in uh, Indiana. IU Amy Kozad finished 16th. 17th, uh, just missing out by five points, Marin Taylor from Texas. 18th, great first NCAA meet she's having so far, Krista Cabot from Kentucky. 19th, Danielle Secco from UConn. 20th, Kay Kaylee Arnett from Virginia Tech. Haley Ishimato from USC, 21st. Sh Cheyenne Kosno from Ohio State, 22nd. Becca St. Germain from Texas A&M, 23rd. Carrie Draglin from Miami, 24th. 25th, Morgan Weller from Arizona State. 26th, Hannah Hopkins from NC State. 27th, Texas Longhorns, Shelby Cullinan. 28th, from Minnesota, Sarah McCready. 29th, from New Mexico, Nicole Tim. 30th, Figgy Figueroa from Missouri. 31st, from Georgia, Ann Perry Blank. 32nd, Kaylee Rowell from, hang on, my computer just went out. Okay, there we go. 32nd, Kaylee Rowell from Cal. 33rd, Kelly Stockson, Virginia Tech. 34th, Amy Harrison from Hawaii. 35th, Kara McCormick from Miami. 36th, from NC State, Rachel Mama. And 37th, Hannah Prigg, Fresno State. 38th, Kate Hillman from IU. And finishing at 39th, Daniel Hulvey from Eastern Michigan. Okay, we're going to take a short break between um, consoles, before consoles. Co consoles are going to start at 4 o'clock p.m. We can take about a five-minute break here, five, ten-minute break, and then we'll go live again. So uh, tune in at 4 o'clock. Consoles ought to be great. <laughs> 